<laughs> Skeet, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Let's get into it. Let me suck them titties, baby. Oh, all right so welcome back to the channel uh ladies and gentlemen this is uh the dusty olympics i am your host atreus and today we're going to talk about simping because one of the biggest simps on the planet just took a major l let's go ahead and look into it man sources close it's over for Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson. Dummy. Sources close to the couple exclusively tell E! News that Kim and Pete have broken up and decided to just be friends. The sources say that the two have a lot of love and respect for each other, but found that the long distance and their demanding schedules made it really difficult to maintain a relationship. A source bet. also adds that Kim's divorce with ex Kanye West is still, quote, moving ahead, and that the two are happily co-parenting. E! News has reached out to Kim and Pete's reps for comment, but did not immediately hear back. We know that Kim and Pete had been doing long distance as the comedian has been in Australia filming the movie Wizards. While Kim has been spotted down under visiting Pete, she's mostly remained near her home base in Los Angeles with her four kids whom she shares with Kanye. Kim and Pete had a whirlwind romance that began shortly after Kim hosted Saturday Night Live back in September 2021. They were first linked in November. During their time together, the two turned heads on Instagram and on the red carpet, including their major Met Gala moment when Kim rocked Marilyn Monroe's famous dress. <laughs> Come on, Ski. This is funny. Uh, so I've been kind of sitting on this, uh, this topic for a little bit. The definition of a simp, okay? Uh, I had a little back and forth spat with a friend of mine on Facebook about this topic and I've been kind of sitting on how I want to do the video. I know I want to do the definition of a simp eventually, but this story right here gave me the perfect opportunity to do that because Skeet or Pete Davidson is a masterclass on what the definition of a simp is. So first of all, let's go and look at what the definition of a modern day simp is. All right. So, uh, this is not accurate. <laughs> now, you, we know it's the Urban ditch Dictionary, obviously, and simp is not a term that you are going to find in uh, Merriam-Webster. It's kind of like a modern-day thing. But whoever made this definition, um, sir, ma'am, you are way out of line on that one. Uh, someone who is way too... No, someone who does way too much for a person. Um, yeah, that's not accurate. <laughs> that is not what a simp is. So, uh, first of all, a simp is is not pertaining to just one gender. Anybody can be a simp for anybody. But in modern times, simp is mainly a tribute to men. Okay. So, to put just a simple definition on it, a simp is a man who places the one who consistently places the wants and needs of women above his own. Okay, that is what a simp is. Uh, it, it's is when you. So of course, for your own uh, woman, of course you would place your family above yourself. But in the context of dating women that don't belong to you, or just women in general, that's why they call stuff stuff like white knighting when a man uh, uh, defends a woman in public from another man, not knowing the context of the situation. Um, they call that white knighting. I wouldn't necessarily call that simping, but if, but yeah, if you put yourself in harm's way for a woman you don't know and you don't know the situation, that can be a form of simping. But uh, simping comes in many forms and it affects the dating marketplace in many ways. Now, the motivation from this came from this right here. This was the post in question on Facebook. Um, I'm not going to say her name, and I, as you can see, I. Um, blanked out the names uh so the post comes and it says i hate this word simp gentlemen you are not a simp just because you love a woman i agree you are not a simp if you love a woman uh and you can see this comment below being a simp is not about love though simps are usually infatuated with women and do pathetic things out of them no do pathetic things for them out of obsession I can't fucking speak for shit. Obsession. All right. Um, I 
I'd say he's on the right track with that. Here goes some more comments. Loving a woman doesn't make you a simp. It ain't that. I love the fuck out of my wife, but I ain't a simp. I ain't finna sit there and let a woman drag me through the mud and use me while I pander to her knowing she using me. It's a little bit on the right track. Here's a little bit of pushback. I understand. But I have actually seen some guys get called a simp just for simply getting into a relationship showing feelings. I think this is more directed to the ones who continuously misuse them. <clears throat> and as you can see there, I kind of respond, due respect, I think it's not your place to comment on whether or not it's being misused. Now, she kind of took obsession, uh, obsession, Jesus Christ, I am fucking up the English, the English, I can't speak, cut, anyway, uh, she took objection to what I said about um, her is not being her place to comment on whether or not we're, we're misusing the word simp. Um, and, you know, going back and forth on, with people on Facebook is kind of sketchy. So what I wanted to kind of explain what I meant by that is that you do not understand the context of men calling each other simp. You don't know what's going on. So I'll give you a prime example of what I'm talking about. Uh, if a man walks into a barbershop, let's say, for instance, you got a kid uh, and you're taking your little ugly ass baby to go and get a haircut. And a man walks into the barbershop with some flowers. He's coming to get a haircut because he's going to go and take his girl some flowers. And you're in there just trying to get your child a haircut, and you and all these dudes start roasting him, calling him a simp and whatnot. Oh, you're bringing her flowers, all oh, that girl this, and you a simp this. And, and in your mind as a woman, you're thinking, damn, they calling this man a simp uh, just for caring about his woman and wanting to do something nice for her. But what I'm telling you is it's not your place to say that because you don't know the context of that man's relationship. It's highly likely that that man comes to that barbershop more than you do. And they know something about that man's relationship that you don't or the woman that he's with that you don't know. Uh, listen, like I said before, a simp is simply a man who places the wants and needs, who consistently places the, the wants and needs of women above his own, putting himself in harm's way, putting his own resources and, and well-being on the line consistently for women that do not belong to him. The only woman or women that you should be putting before yourself as a man, and sometimes you shouldn't even be doing that, is your mother, your daughter, your wife, uh, or, or whatever the case may be. Uh, but other than that, you shouldn't be doing that. There's a lot of dudes who, and, and, and don't get it twisted, rich niggas can be simps. Let's talk about Skeet. Um, he committed all the simp crimes. First of all, uh, uh, he had a relationship with Kanye, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, and then ended up getting with his wife. Okay? This better fucking work out. <laughs> this, this better fucking work out. You get with a woman who has four kids by another man. You also get with a woman who has a very questionable uh, sexual history. We know what Kim K is famous for, okay? You're also uh, getting with a woman who has a career her, of her own. And this is there's another truth in this. Is This is why men don't date a lot of successful women like that because you heard what they said the distance they had busy schedules but we're not going to talk about the career woman right now we're talking about uh you know simping uh yeah man you, i mean you riding around on golf carts with with her kids and whatnot taking pictures all out in public doing all this shit. i mean come on dude. for her sake I hope that <laughs> this is a sign that she working shit out with Kanye because um, it ain't nothing but down here from here. I mean, she went from a billionaire to, to a fucking comedian. Like, come on, bro. Come on. If you thought this was going to laugh, last, <laughs> last, then you are out of your rabbit ass mama. Anyway, uh, yeah, so a simp is simply a man who places the wants and needs of women above his own to his own detriment okay and that's what it is uh you are not a simp for loving your woman as long as she loves you back nigga. because <laughs> if she don't uh we roasting your ass so anyway what do y'all think man um leave your likes uh comment subscribe turn on that notification notification bell and uh, tell me what y'all think in the comments, man. Uh, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. That's A-T-R-A-E-S underscore. And I will holler at y'all later. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Let me suck them titties, babe. Let me suck them titties, babe. Yeah.